Hi, my name is Layla, and today I'll be showing you how to design personalized pages. You can begin by going to link.entourageyearbooks.com. If you've received a link to your personal yearbook store from your yearbook advisor, you can use that as well. First, use the search for your school bar to find your school store. Click on your school name. And if you don't already have a login for the link website, you may now be asked to register. Make sure you have a login and you'll be taken to the yearbook store for your personal school. Click on the orange add slash personal pages icon. Click the blue create your pages button. You'll now be taken to the personalized page designer. We do suggest that Google Chrome is the best internet browser to use when designing personalized pages. So please use that browser if you can. We also suggest making sure that you do have a reliable high speed internet connection prior to beginning designing your personalized pages. The first thing that will happen when you're taken to the personalized page designer is that you'll be shown a selection of templates to choose from. Scroll down until you find a design that you like. Click on the design and it will automatically be added to your personalized page spread. We'll now upload photos to go into your design. Click the insert photo icon on the left. Navigate to the third tab, upload. You can now either drag and drop photos into the uploader here, or click the orange browse button to find the photos on your computer. Make sure you do have the photos saved to your computer before you begin this step. You can upload multiple photos at once by clicking on the first photo and holding down the shift key on your keyboard. Then click the last photo and click the open button. Upload of your photos will begin automatically, and once complete, you'll be taken back to your Insert Photo menu. Now that you have photos, you can click on one that you'd like to add to your page. Simply click any of the gray boxes to add that photo into your design. You can repeat this step as many times as needed. You can also edit your text boxes. Do so by double clicking inside any text box. This will ensure that you have the text box selected and that you're in cursor mode so that you can type. You'll know that you have the text box selected when the blue squares and circles appear around the edges. You'll also see a very thin red line highlighting the text box or photo that you have selected. The first step will be to delete the old text. Click and drag over the old text to highlight it. Use the backspace or delete key on your keyboard to delete it. And then you can begin typing as normal. You can repeat this for all of the different text boxes. And you can also change the different font preferences as well. If you'd like to change the color of the font, the size, or the style, use the font mini menu over here on the top left. Make sure you do have the text selected by highlighting it. And you can change the font, the color, or the size. And you can repeat that as many times as needed. If you find that you have too much text for your text box, hover over the square icons on the sides, click and drag out to make the text box bigger. You can do so to make it taller as well. If you ever need to move anything on your pages, you can use the black hand icon. Hover over the hand icon until your cursor also becomes a black hand. Click and drag to move the object. And you can repeat this as well with text boxes, clip art, shapes, 
or photos. For example, if I'd like to move this red shape, I can double click to select it, and I can either click and drag on the sides to make it smaller, or I can get rid of it entirely by using the backspace key on my keyboard, or simply move it around by using the hand icon. If you'd like to add a personal message into one of the smaller text boxes, make sure you do so as well. Again, double click inside the text box to make sure you have it selected and that your cursor is in text mode. Click and drag over the existing dummy text to highlight it, and use the backspace key on your keyboard to get rid of the old text. You might want to put a personal message such as congratulations, we're so proud of you, and so on. And once you're happy with your text, make any other final changes as needed. If you have any extra drop photo here boxes that you don't want to keep, make sure you click on them and then click on the delete key on your keyboard to delete them. You can also make your photos larger or smaller if you'd like them to take up more space on your page. For example, if I'd like this bottom photo to be larger, I can do the exact same thing with it that I did with my text box. I'll click on it to select it, hover over the blue square icon, and then click and drag to make it larger. Now I'm using the hand icon to move the other objects up to make sure that I have enough room for my new sized photo. If you would like your photos to have borders like this one does, you can change that as well. That's located on the left hand side of your screen under border width. You would want to change it from zero to a higher number, of course, to make it thicker and change the color as well if you'd like it to be a different color. The default will be black. If you'd like to add some drop shadows to your pictures, you can also do so on the left hand function panel. Click the drop shadow icon and that will add that slight drop shadow to give the photo a 3D look. Click on it again to remove it. If you would like to insert any clip art onto your page, you can also do so on the left. Click insert clip art. And over here on the left hand side, you'll see a list of clip art categories to choose from. I'll click on comic book, for example, and there'll be several clip arts to choose from. You have unlimited access to all templates and all clip art. Scroll down until you see a clip art you like. You can now click anywhere on your page to add the clip art in. And I'll now use the black hand icon to move around and resize that clip art as well. So I'll hover over the blue square to make it a little bit smaller perhaps. You can also do this on the corner circle icons if you want to make it proportionately smaller. I'll now use the black hand icon to move it. And let's say I want to add some text where there wasn't any text before. I can click the insert text icon on the left. And it's automatically going to drop in a text box for you. Again, you use the black hand icon to move that text over. I'll use the blue square icons again to resize this text box to make it fit within my new clip art. I can also double click or drag my mouse over the text to highlight it. I'd like to make it a little bit smaller, so I'll choose font size and use the down arrow to make the font a little smaller. And now that I already have the text selected, I can already change it. There are many different ways that you can customize your own students' personalized pages, so please don't hesitate to contact us if you have something in mind or if you're having trouble designing your pages. We are more than happy to help you complete your design the way you have it in mind. Once you're happy with your design, make sure that you do click the green save icon before you try to continue as well. You can save any time throughout your design process too. From here, you're going to see a preview of your personalized pages. Keep in mind, you will not be able to change your personalized pages once you complete them for print. 
name your personalized pages. Usually you'll want to name it your student's name and you'll also put your student name here as well. Next, click the check icon here to approve your design of your personalized pages and click the yes button. You'll now be asked to enter your payment information if you will be paying for your pages. If your school has decided to give away the pages for free, you will not need to enter any payment information. Click the green icon. And from here, even if you're not paying for your personalized pages, you'll still put in your contact information. This is only to ensure that your yearbook advisor can reach you if they have any questions about your personalized pages. If you have any questions while you are designing your pages, please do use this phone number 888-926-6571 and use extension 2 to reach our tech support. Now click continue to payment info. Again, if you will not be paying anything, you don't have to put in any payment information here. Click the blue confirm icon. Now your personalized pages order is complete. You will receive your yearbook with the rest of the yearbook distribution at the end of the year. Please be on the lookout for other help videos. Thanks for watching.